expensive equipment to private coaching and out-of-town tournaments, it is adding up, isn't it? The cost of youth sports continues to rise, and while many of us really feel like we'll do anything for our kids, are we really neglecting our own financial future? It is a real question, and that's why we put it to Casey Marks from Crown Haven Wealth Advisors here to help us not make a money mistake here as part of our Angela Answers segment here. So um, did you study this and really kind of put a price tag on, like on an average, uh, to find out how much we're actually spending? Because a lot of times we just spend it and we don't look at it. Yeah, so first of all, thanks for having me. Yeah. Folks are spending quite a bit. So uh, folks are spending about a third of their income on their children, but... A third, a third of, of their, their income. income on their children. That's like, yeah. you know, your, your housing. That's a really. lot of money, right? Yeah. Um, but what was striking to me was 8% of the population is spending over $1,000 a month. Wow. And that's just absolutely wow. insane. That right? is, I mean, so. when you put a number to it, I mean, yeah. you know, it's, it's just we know we're writing a lot of checks, yes. uh, spending a lot of money, but when you take right. a, a long, hard look at the black and white numbers, but I, I think a lot of us look and say, hey, it, 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 we're all in. It's all or nothing here. Yes. But there are ways to sort of mitigate uh, those expenses. So what do you tell your clients when, when it's time to look at those kinds of expenditures? Well, I think it's important to budget, first of all. You need to be accountable and you need to look at what you're trying to accomplish, right? So when you're younger, when your kids are younger, uh, you know, I remember being a youth athlete and I, I did recreational sports. So I did, you know, three or four sports myself. And then when I started to get older, you start to specialize. So maybe doing instead of four or five sports, you do one or two sports mm -hmm. as you get older, especially when it comes to travel teams. Yeah, you're not exaggerating four or five. I mean, yeah. because that is a reality is, you know, we're trying to expose as much as possible to our kids, let them find out where exactly. their interests are, but it, it, it doesn't come free. Exactly. So as you start to specialize, if you, if you kind of can cut costs that way. Uh, also, you know, as a child, I remember my dad and I would go down to play it against sports, places uh, like that's that. That's what I was going to say. And would get, you know, everybody's trying to keep up with the Joneses because it's so competitive, right? But while other families are trying to keep up with the Joneses, they might be getting rid of equipment that's really nice equipment that you can then pick up for half price. That's a big, that's a big way to save here. But, you know, when you're facing club fees and, and uh, sure. coaching fees, sure. how, do you, how do you manage that down? Well, that's, it goes back to budgeting and it goes back to really being cognizant of what you want to specialize in, right? Um, there's no way to uh, really get the cost down across the spectrum, right? You can't look at, you can't say I want to do this, 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 and this, and it all costs this much, and I want to reduce it across the board. But if you've got four different sports that you're trying to play, uh, maybe you do two instead of four. Mm -hmm. I, 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 I'm hearing somewhere in there a no. Yeah. <laughs> a you no to, to your kids you that's kind choose. of looming out there. It's time to choose. Yeah, right? well, you have to choose. And, you know, I'll say from my personal experience, it's not the stuff you get. A lot of the extra expenses come from all of the additional things you buy along the way, right? Mm -hmm. And it's not the stuff you get, it's the experiences that you have. So what I remember from youth sports are all the people that I met. And the hard truth is only 2% of kids uh, end up with a college scholarship. Oh, that so, is a hard truth right there, isn't it? You know, I think most parents would rather appreciate, if they're honest with themselves, uh, their children as adults would rather appreciate their parents having financial security uh, later in life mm -hmm. than a new baseball bat True. every year. Yeah. Well, it's finding that balance figuring out how to get there. Hey, thanks for the uh, for the tips, and You're it was welcome. great to meet you. Appreciate yeah, it. Thank you. Uh, if you'd like to see uh, the budget worksheet, uh, we'll link you to that at our website, fox59.com. It's in the Angela Answers section. We'll see you next time. Look for the Crown Haven link while you're there.